Are you looking for fully integrated hybrid freeform parametric 3D product and assembly design? Some CNC manufacturing? Maybe testing and simulation software that is still easy to use, but cost effective and affordable? I'm Ben Decker from Cadet, and we'll take a few moments just to introduce you to the T-Flex hybrid parametric freeform CAD CAM software. The T-Flex interface is easy to use, offering the same commands from the top menu, as well as our floating dockable icon toolbars that we toggle using the mode menu for different command sets, as well as a text entry using the keyboard at the text interface. To demonstrate the 3D design, we'll start a new 3D model. And what we're going to create here is just a simple surface lofted from three curves and then extrude a prism to that, then do some file import and, and merge the whole thing together. <clears throat> so to create uh, our uh, profile curves for this surface, we need some planes. We're in uh, repeat mode of our command. Now we could also specify um, the exact offset. We can also change the parameters of that offset, make it negative, for instance, on the other side of the plane. And then to create our actual profile, all we do is uh, right click on the plane and start with our sketch command. Now the default sketch entity is line. We can also change that to curve, create some curve, go back to line maybe, something like that to begin with. Now once we've exited out of that sketch mode, we can kind of drag those nodes in real time, make it appear the way we want. Not too picky with this one. Create a similar sketch on the um, <clears throat> on the next plane because uh, we want our uh, this particular surface for this demonstration to have a, a reasonable amount of consistency. I could be using a spline entity actually here, but uh, I want to demonstrate also the use of sheets so I'm going to actually create a, um, a sheet of three surfaces. The reason why it's uh, three surfaces is because each profile is actually made up of uh, three profile entities. And so for um, <clears throat> surfacing uh, between those three profiles of the three profile entities, we're actually going to create a set of three surfaces and we'll call that a sheet. It's better if I show you what I mean. We'll select the flow curves, make sure that the <clears throat> that our isoparm is flowing all in the same direction so that we don't have the twisted surface effect. Just click OK. We could have changed some parameters, but uh, for time's sake, we'll just... And see what we have here is actually <clears throat> one sheet of, of three surfaces because our profiles are broken up into three curves. So now the matter of creating a, an extrusion up to this uh, particular surface. Um, in this demonstration, what we could do, for instance, is create another parallel plane, this time from the XY uh, parallel. Hit enter. Right click on the plane and say draw and work plane. Uh, just a quick circle, just something like that, contained within the uh, geometry of the surface that we've created. Click finish. And now, uh, from that profile, we can right-click and select uh, Create Extrusion. The menu's context sens is sensitive. Uh, it's intelligent enough to know what we want to do just by selecting an entity and right-clicking. We say that we want to extrude to a sheet. The second direction will automatically set itself to offset. That defaults to zero. In other words, no offset from the extrusion plane. Now. Uh, as we hover the mouse over the surface, it defaults to face, but if we use the scroll wheel on the mouse, we see that T-Flex also offers us the option to select the whole sheet, which is why we specified first direction of, the, uh, of this extrusion to be two sheet. So that was the purpose of uh, that whole demonstration. <clears throat> we accept that. And... Um, now let's hide. We go to um, visibility, hide, just to hide that sheet. And there we have our, our extrusion up to the surface. Looking at the parametric history tree of uh, this geometry, 
we can actually change um, some different uh, items here. For our extrusion, for instance, go to parameters, and I would like to um, I would like to give this, for instance, a four degree taper, sort of a draft angle. So it uh, adds a draft angle to that. Maybe we'll also add a little bit of shelling. Take that face out on the bottom, thickness 12. So we can do all kinds of uh, different operations. T-Flex, CAD CAM, uh, uh, work modes. Uh, the different packages in, uh, include 3D assembly, uh, different work plane tools, as well as bill of materials, a uh, special title block module. Sheet metal is fairly powerful inside T-Flex CAD CAM, as well in C CNC 2D. CNC 3D offers um, uh, multi-axis, as well as wire EDM and lathe milling. We have analysis modules that are fairly comprehensive and a lot of other fun tools that we don't have a lot of time to demonstrate right now. But rest assured that it's a fairly comprehensive package. Let's um, <clears throat> bring another, what I would like to show you now is the um, file import. Now we can bring a SolidWorks files directly in uh, as a version 11 of TFlex without having the third party SolidWorks CAD system actually installed. It will still import an SLD PRT file open that file and we see that we've got our new little part and what I would like to demonstrate here is now the use of um, of mates under tools we could create a mate that is a relationship um, to uh, from this uh, geometry that we've created uh, to this um, <clears throat> new geometry that we have here well it's just as easy to undo that if we're not happy with the results and again, we say tools, mate, create mate, select that, select that. That's really what we wanted to do is move that just to the center, a geometric center, so that we have two concentric parts. <clears throat> we could uh, also modify the geometry of our imported SolidWorks file. Some other handy tools that uh, TFlex offers us is a fairly extensive parts library. And it's easy enough to uh, we could open that all on its own, have a look at the file. But what we'd like to do in this particular case is uh, <coughs> is actually import that as a fragment. That is like a sort of a, a third part. Specify the size. And click OK. So it's just kind of floating there, sort of just the demonstration part. So TFlex CAD CAM is sold, distributed in Asia Pacific region from uh, CADIT.net here in Australia. We provide the support out of our office in Liverpool, as well as the online CAD CAM forum, where we do a lot of uh, technical support and answering your questions. Uh, you can purchase TFlex CAD CAM after your thir free 30-day trial from the CADIT CAD store. Fairly easy to use this CAD store. Just uh, pick the um, TFlex product from the 3D design package specify what licenses you need, and then add it to cart and check out. So I thank you for taking a few minutes to allow me to demonstrate TFlex CAD CAM software with you uh, today.